So different thermoformers uh, have different qualities. Uh, older devices uh, and, and also less expensive are um, vacuum thermoformers. This one is uh, from a company called Mizzi. The, uh, it is designed for square sheets. And uh, we prefer that our customers do not use vacuum thermoformers because they only develop uh, air pressure uh, based on the vacuum that is pulled from the machine itself. And it's not as much pressure. And so usually it's difficult to achieve the kind of quality that you'd like to have in, in your end in, in device. This is a, another uh, vacuum thermoformer called the um, Ercoform from Ercodent. Uh, Ercodent also makes an Ercopress, which is a pressure thermoformer, but this one is vacuum. It works quite well if, if managed properly with, with heat and time. Uh, you can do a good job of, of thermoforming with this. And Chip, I believe this, uh, this ring requires 120 millimeters with the Urco. Er so our product line comes in a variety of shapes. We do make square uh, Zendura. We make 120 millimeters round and we make 125. Uh, this device is a, a pressure thermoformer called the Drufelmat. Drufelmat from a German company called Dreva. And uh, it's Ring is 120 millimeters, but it is designed in a way that 125 millimeter round, or uh, we also make the 125 millimeter square shape. So any of the three can be, can actually be successfully used with the roof mat. It's a it's a good design machine because the heated uh, sheet drops vertically; it drops linearly onto the model instead of flipping it over. So uh, so it's a, a very nice quality machine, but we see in the in the market today, uh, the workhorse is really uh, the BioStar and MiniStar from uh, sold in the U.S. by Great Lakes, Great Lakes Dental Technology. Uh, BioStar is a great machine, quite quite programmable. Uh, MiniStar is a little bit smaller, has a little less programming capability, but they but they both are uh, are excellent machines. Um, Shall we? Uh, the price point? Um, someone asked us what's the price point on the BioStar and MiniStar approximately. Chip, what's the? Uh, 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 approximately. For a new one and about a thousand less for the MiniStar, something like that. 2500 for a MiniStar. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, you, you advance it so that it is completely uh, sealed. So we've had customers do these and uh, and tell us that they're they're able to maintain their sheets for a, a, a fair period of time. Also, in, in even in our single uh, pack, but, um, but in the especially in the multi pack, you, you'll feel here that there is a um, moisture absorbing packet that can help to remove moisture from the atmosphere that's inside the pouch. Okay, uh, shall we carry on with the Biostar? All right, this is what everyone's all excited about. They are. Questions. Oh, mm. there's so many questions. Really? About finishing and thermoforming. Oh, uh, well, okay, so I, I would say we're going to do a quick thermoforming and rough trim in this demo. And uh, I don't want to embarrass myself by doing the finishing. And so uh, we're going to uh, have a future um, session with Dr. Amanda to really show some of the details. Stay tuned, we'll announce it maybe in the fall. And I'm not even the best finisher either, so I think we gotta get someone from a lab to come do it. That's why I use labs. All right, we're gonna go ahead and warm this. All right, I'm gonna put up. the code in. And uh, the code is, uh, is printed on our, our packaging. So the code makes sure that way it knows what thermal. It knows the temperature and time that, that it's shooting for. We lock it in place. And then I'm going to bring the heating element in place. I remember when I used to use that air back down there in residency, we'd overheat it. It would get soggy and saggy and dead. Hmm, I'm not sure this is, uh, oh, okay, now uh, we- Live webinars, everyone. 
live live <laughs> web live <laughs> webinar live, live webinar, webinar. webinar. It it, as soon as I uh, put the code in, it's not this it, actually this is the first time that I've permaformed with this machine. So uh, our practice. Okay, we're gonna grab an extra awesome helper to do this. So while we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and answer some questions because we've got so many of them. Hang on. Let me put this on. Okay, now it's working. Oh, you got it now? Yeah, but now it's working, but we're on 49. We have 40 seconds left, so oh. you can talk. Oh, okay. Go ahead. So, okay, some questions. Um, Okay, there's a lot of questions about trimming and burrs. We're actually going to, that's really not our specialty. Um, we're gonna be, have some extra awesome specialists here in a little while who, in our next webinar in the fall, where we'll go over that. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons why it's great, you know, to outsource to labs that are really great at it, because the trim is really important. We have a variety of, uh, of videos available on our uh, YouTube channel that uh, can inform you about that. The uh, our preference here is to do a rough trim with uh, with scissors, and uh, so I'll uh, I'll talk about that just so here we go. Now it is ready. So I'm going to turn that, turn that, turn that, and let's. Now we're in the cool down period. I got it working, John. We got John here. Hi, John. You Say hello I, to the world. Okay, so we've got another right. we've got another 50 seconds of, right, right. Uh, of cool down let's time. Let's see what other questions. Oh my goodness, we have so many questions. I don't even know what to do here. Well, it, just to maybe I can carry on about the you can about carry the, on. About carry the trimming. On. Uh, just like we, we talked about a wide variety of clear aligner therapy time prescriptions, the trimming is widely variable uh, amongst our customers. So. Some people prefer to use uh, a, a pair of scissors and then a, a, a Dremel tool to do final uh, trim. Other people use a Dremel type tool or burr from the beginning. Uh, high volume labs are using automated right. uh, devices to, to do the What's trimming. What's the price point on that? Someone asked that. On an automated yeah. device? I, I really don't know. I don't know uh, I, yeah. Someone Please. wants to know uh, what's the code that you used again? Uh, well, for uh, for that, I use 162. 162. 162. Okay, now, this is a regular biostar. The... Ah, okay, Do you a... think the first thermal form shows that? I don't understand that question. Okay, sorry, Louise. Follow. Um, maybe maybe somebody can translate that. For me. All right, let's see how I did. There. Uh, thank you. Oh wow. There's the uh, there's the device. Uh, I like to do a rough trim with a with a larger pair of, of scissors that uh, has a curved shape, and you can just get started getting close to the to the model. I like to delegate this to a high school student. Put me on the. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Amanda. <laughs> that's, that's that's the way I do that. I've done I've trimmed too much stuff in my life. <laughs> I went to high school, so I'm qualified. <laughs> awesome, are you? Hey, you. <laughs> Okay, so that's my rough uh, first level rough trim, and then uh, the the second trim, I. Uh, and then I you'll like, my kids to trim things. Yeah, they're, they're great. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where the pedal hits the metal. Oh, okay. You're making me nervous. Really? Yeah. Okay, okay my fingers never leave my hands. <laughs> Folks, you get, we get humor here. We're a little punchy. We, uh, we have, uh, we actually have a, an excellent uh, manufacturing aid product to show in the our next webinar that where we do the thermoforming because that makes this step much simpler or right. much more rapid. All right. Um, All right. Go ahead with your question. Yes, sure. Luis Paulo says he's using Zendura in Portugal to make clear liners, and he thinks it's amazing. As do Thank I. you, Luis. Yes, isn't that great? Um, another question. Um, what happens when aligners on the paper me are changed too quickly, but it says for chip? That question is for you. What happens, in your opinion, when you change aligners too quickly? Uh, I'm not quite sure what you mean by too quickly. Like if, if you need to change them quicker if you don't. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's really a question for, really a question for, a, uh, uh, for the uh, orthodontist. All right, so good news. We've got the trimming. The rough trimming is done. Remember, there's a lot of videos for more detailed trimming. <laughs> there we go. I, uh, I finally got the 
thermoform device off the model. Um, I was able to do a, a fair job of, uh, of trimming here, and it just depends on what your trimming uh, style and, and protocol is. That too varies widely between our, uh, our customers. I certainly wouldn't put this on a patient because I've got some sharp edges, so it, it does need finishing. We'll have to cover that in, a, in another webinar. It took him about five minutes to trim that off, and then finishing will probably take another five minutes or so. You'd say maybe about that 10 was, minutes. So. Um, well, it can yeah. be done in less than five minutes by somebody who has <laughs> a better, better skill. It would take me 30 minutes. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's another reason why it's great to outsource because um, unless you have unlimited time, um, that does take time to get it right.